Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hackaday Prize update, brought to you by DigiKey and SupplyFrame. Challenge number two is all about assistive technology. These are projects that are designed to make life easier or better for those with mobility issues or challenges. To help people live their lives to their fullest, we are excited to highlight some of the best projects from this challenge. Let's dive in and see what the community is working on. Our first project is helping people keep track of their daily medicational needs. It's one thing to read and tiny font today's prescription bottles, but another thing entirely to memorize when to take them. The pill dispenser robot has 14 chambers total, meaning it can organize medication for day and night across entire weeks or store pills daily for two weeks without issue. It even includes speech synthesized and LCD screens with a face for friendly user interactions. It's the natural evolution of those plastic pill organizers that you've always seen at your grandparents' house. Communication is a powerful tool in today's modern age, but there are many who struggle with expressing themselves for a variety of reasons. The next project is here to help. Some of you may recall the original version of the device, which is used as a joystick to select one of eight pre-programmed phrases. The new version of the Hackaday 2023 upgrades a device that has 14 buttons, capacitive touch, interface, and finger guides. Being unable to properly communicate can lead to the feeling of frustration, isolation. So when it comes to assistive tech, projects like these are incredibly important. Anyone familiar with diving knows that visibility and navigation are constant challenges. We weren't meant to see underwater, but with the right tech, we can change that. The Mercator Origin Dive's telemetry and navigation systems help new and experienced divers find their way underwater. It provides guidance and floats that contains GPS modules. This is attached to an underwater console with an 11-meter cable. The underwater console provides heading and distance guides to the user, with stretch goals to include breathing patterns, heart rate, emergency panic button, and audio directions. With all these stretch goals in mind, I'm starting to think this device could end up being a more feature-rich than the GPS in my car. Technology for tracking movement has come a long way in recent years, but fingers continue to pose a problem, especially in virtual reality. Just try selecting something with your hand and trying to pick something up and you'll see what I mean. The Open Muscle Finger Tracking Project offers a novel way to track your finger movements, but in this case, the goal is to do so in real world, not a virtual one. This approach tracks finger movements via a cuff that monitors your muscles in your forearm. By using pressure sensors, it can track muscle movements and translate those into finger tracking. There are a few ways to use this, but some examples include navigating a computer interface or controlling your prosthetic hand in more natural ways. Tack on open source software and hardware design, and it's clear that tracking technology should hit the gym. Get it? Because muscles? Yeah, uh, 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 okay, let's move on. Prosthetics are a crucial tool for people who no longer have certain limbs or mobility. That can often be extremely expensive. Not only that the next project is solving that problem with cost, but also bringing technology into the fold. The affordable bionic prosthesis is designed for transfemoral amputees. It has two joints mimicking the ankle and knee, and is controlled via brushless motors. It will interface with most standard prosthetic sockets as well. Made for 3D printed parts, machine aluminum, bringing the cost down under $1,000. It also has a bionic name, and you can't put a price on that. Back on the subject of communication, the ability to turn thoughts and interactions into something anyone can interpret is crucial. The next project, does just that. The Bluetooth letter board offers a novel way for non-verbal individuals to communicate. Users receive audio and visual feedback when letters or symbols are pressed. It can also support multiple layouts. It can also function as a Bluetooth keyboard for Android devices or iOS devices, leveraging their text-to-speech capabilities. The most unique innovations in today's interface technologies come in the form of solutions that offer hand-free control. For those who cannot use their hands, the simple affordable mouth-mouse is a perfect way to engage with the favorite technologies. This design is built using a game controller and comes with a sip puff switch for left and right clicks. It's easy to build with readily available components. And I, for one, look forward to see someone using this to beat Dark Souls, or Bloodborne, or any Souls game at all. That's a wrap for this challenge. Next up are green hacks. Whether you want focus on clean energy, smart recycling, preventing waste, or even cleaning up the mess that we leave behind, here's your chance to. Hack for the planet, or Captain Planet if that's more your thing, I'll see you in the next update.